Hello testers. In the last video, we have seen a basic launching of the browser and then navigate to a website and then closing it. And we have written everything in the same it block in the given statement. So now we will just click on this my account and then enter user ID password. And we will verify this particular edit account information displayed or not. Then we'll simply log out. Part way continue. So this is a scenario we're going to see now, right? So we will be adding those lines over here. So to save the time, I have already written those lines. Okay, so it's going to be straightforward. So you can see, just clicking on that my account, followed by username, password, login button and verifying that particular edit account information is visible or not. I'm not testing, I'm not uh, um, um, asserting, it just is visible or not. And then followed by click and followed by continue, close and close. We'll try to run this one and see if it is working fine. Okay, before that, let me just rename this one to homepage dot spec dot yes should be good so now let's try running npm test so it is launching and then my account username password login and then log out continue and then that's it Okay, there is something issue. So it is saying resolve in this minute. Okay, should be fine. So here, let me add set a default timeout. And then I will explain you this later, what exactly this means. So let's try to add some amount of milliseconds. Uh, it could be milliseconds, right? So let's try to add thousand into sixteen to two. Should be good. We'll calculate later. Let's try to rename it again. Okay, my account, username, password, login, logout, continue. That's it, it got passed. We'll see what exactly this means later. So now we cannot write everything in one step, right? So because we have different steps, given user is on the login page, then user login uh, user enters login details and login should be displayed, and then home page should be displayed, right? So now it's time for us to distribute these steps among the different steps, right? Let's say when the user is on home page, Right, so it should be till here, so that login page is up. Login page will be visible for us. After that, when the user enters login details, right? So, or when the user is trying to login, Control X and just try pasting over here. Now we'll resolve this page again. After that, login should be visible. Okay. Login should be uh, vis login should be successful. That's okay, not needed. We'll remove this tip. Home page should be successful. Home sh home page should be displayed. Home page should be displayed. We'll remove this. This is not needed. And we'll remove this part to here, right? And we need to asset. Let's try to take it from the Playwright test. Import. We'll take at the rate playwright test and we'll take expect. So this one is written in what? Boolean, right? So we'll try to handle this. So what is this error first? And before that, we have a few more left. Log out, right? Simply add and home page should be displayed. Then upon logout, we 
when upon logouts, then logout should be successful. That's okay. Logout should be successful. Okay. So now we need to add a couple of lines, right? Copy paste. One more. Just take this line when upon logout, right? Simple. And upon logout, we'll be performing these three actions, these two actions, logout and followed by this one. And then after that, logout should be successful. Logout should be successful. We'll simply console here. And later on, some, later on point, we can add it more. Okay. Say logout is success. Logout is success. Okay. Right click format. So now it's time for us to handle this particular page because we know that this particular variables, browser, context, page are defined under the given. That means it is black and it has a scope of till here only. This particular variable is not visible outside of this particular block. So what can we move? What can we do? We can make these variables as a global, right? Let's try to do that. Browser first, followed by browser context. This is done, followed by page. Now, I can remove this part, simply say browser. This also I can remove, simply say browser context. And this one also we can say page, right, page. Now you could see we are not getting error anywhere because it's a global variable for us. The scope has changed, right? Okay. So now, where should we keep these three? Should we keep in the last here? It's not ideal, but let's keep for time being. Okay. So now, observe here, we have distributed the whatever the lines we have written to our different steps. And we will be even more uh, arranging it because we cannot write everything prerequisite and postrequisite in the steps itself. We have to make use of the hooks concept that we will be seeing in the next lecture, right? So now let's try running it and see if we get any luck here. NPM test. Okay. My account. Username, password. Logout. I think we are pretty much good, right? So every step has successfully completed without an issue. We didn't do anything. We simply, uh, we can say, distributed the steps to the different steps. Right? Whatever the statements we have written, we simply distributed it across the given when then. Now, is this sufficient enough? I would say no. The reason is we cannot write everything under the same spec page because there may be a plenty of feature files will be coming and corresponding you should be having your step definitions. That means you cannot write everything into a single page. There, the distribution of the use of these variables comes into the picture again. There will be one more challenge. But before that, can we make quickly that, okay, can I make this part into a prerequisite kind of thing? Yes, we can make it that. So do we have anything like that? Yes, we have so many hooks. One, one is before and after. That means for every scenario, that will be executed. I have something called after also. That means in before, okay, in before, simply I will say, a sync function, it's a callback function, just copy paste it. I will cut this and paste it over here. We are good, right? Similarly, I can, you can write after anywhere. I'm just writing in the last. So after a callback function, right? Just copy paste it rather than wasting the time. Copy and then paste. Right, this is also done. I just need to take this control X and paste it. 
Now we are good. Right? Before means for every scenario. You may have multiple scenarios, right? For example, this is scenario one, this is scenario two, right? You cannot it depends if one wants to use the same browser for all the scenarios you can use before all and all but this before will execute for each and every scenario the same thing is applies for the after as well now if i run this two times it will execute two browsers should be launched one after another because it's not parallel now let's see My account log out done one is done the other one because we have two scenarios before and after they are executing as a part of their hooks right that's what we called hooks we have two scenarios 10 steps two passed there is no failure okay so now in further lectures we will even more distribute like how we can use the same variables when we have different features that means corresponding their steps for example here we will be having one more file let's say login page dot or even suspect dot ts this also is also okay just make it as a spec that should be fine right so now how we can distribute this one these variables when we have multiple how we can make use of the same page across the different spec files right in inbuilt playwright when you use test playwright test generally it will be injected here and if you are have a basic understanding of playwright but we are not using any inbuilt playwright test on our site we are using cucumber which is not a default one we are integrating right so how we will we can integrate here what is the best approaches i will show you two approaches one which is i recommend the other one the easy one but you can also give a try we'll try both and then we'll take it to the next part of the videos thanks for watching